look familiar? A 40-something white housewife is frightened. And while she may think she's performing a civic duty, all hell could break loose. To Louise, an unknown black man is lurking around her neighbor's property. What is he doing? Looking for the easiest way to break in, surely. Oh, what do they call it in all those crime dramas she watches? Case in the joint? That's it. Louise Neighbor is a kindly old woman, a vulnerable widow, and the perfect target for the most nefarious crimes. If she didn't call 911 and something were to happen, that would be on her conscience. But should Louise call the cops? Lately, the news has been filled with nosy white women not minding their business. And as a result, black people have been aggressively harassed and arrested by cops. But Louise, you're a good woman. You're definitely not a racist. You even voted for Obama. Once. Still, there's a possibility that the phone call you make could lead to the disruption of an innocent man's life. Imagine it. A police car speeds to a screeching halt. A cop pops out, sees the black man. Maybe he yells a command. Maybe he doesn't. But within seconds, he uploads his clip and the black man is lying face down in a pool of blood. That couldn't happen, not here. Really? Bitch, really? You're gonna call the cops? Serious? She's doing it. I bet after she calls, she's go back inside and cook some unseasoned chicken. Or worse, throw some raisins and potato salad. Like, I can't. She is really doing this. This is 911. What is your emergency? Louise. Louise, I know you know you're stereotyping this man, right? Yes, I'm on 2081 Evergreen Street. Yes, ma'am. What is your emergency? Louise, before you tell this person anything, what do you really see? So, I checked all the entrances to your home as you asked, and here's the quote for your installation to your security system. Hello? Ma'am, do you need police assistance? Uh, uh, no, thank you. And what did you learn? Maybe you learned not to judge people by the color of their skin, huh? Maybe you learned to mind your business, right? Louise thought she was being the good neighbor, looking out for the welfare of another. Instead, she stepped into a zone, one where undercover bigotry can endanger black bodies. This kale-eating, purse-clutching, basic bitch almost called the authorities on an innocent black man. A black man she suspected to be a burglar, but in actuality was there to provide security. Let this be a lesson to all the nosy-ass white people. Before you dial on someone else, check yourself. In fact, repeat this mantra. Leave black people alone, Louise. Leave the black people alone. Thank you.